Hi, my name is Jinam Temu. I'm doing uh, honors in information systems, just submitted my thesis. <laughs> I developed a passion for crocheting uh, in 2019. Um, I started with a bralette. Um, so my passion starts, my passion for crocheting started when I saw, it actually started with knitting. So I saw a colleague, um, she posted a, a jersey that she had knitted at the time. So I asked her if she can make the jersey for me and she was like, no, but she can teach me how to make it. But she never did. So I had to like learn knitting. I then discovered crocheting, um, then started learning patterns from it. My name is Zimon Tewani and I'm currently doing my postgraduate diploma in accounting. I'm into ADNE. I like doing creative things. So last year I wanted to turn my drawings into embroidery so that I could customize denim, um, denim jackets. Then as I was watching YouTube videos on how to do that, then I, cr I came across a crocheted bralette and I just wanted to do that instead. I kept on telling my friends about it and watching videos on how to learn. And then on my birthday last year, a friend of mine got me crochet hooks and um, knitting needles and some more because she didn't know what I was or what I was talking about. She didn't know whether it was crocheting or, or knitting. Hi, my name is Nose Yizwe, Nomokambanga, and I'm currently a second year Rhodes University student. I'm a crocheter and I also happen to knit and I'm interested in learning other styles of handmade things. I just had to be part of this movement, this crochet movement. I mean it's quite interesting for me to start off with something that's literally a string and then it turns into a piece of clothing. So what crocheting and knitting mean to me um, is that they offer an escape and they allow me to do something that's bigger than myself. So I love seeing things transform. It really appealed to me because of that. And it's an escape from your everyday student lifestyle. So crocheting to me means um, contributing to the world of art. I'm not really an artistic person, so and I've always wanted to like do art, but I was never, you know, artistic. So that's what it means. It just means, um, you know, contributing to art, creating um, something that someone else um, will love. And it just, it means creativity. It just helps me relax. It's therapeutic. And it also, because as I've said, I like creative things. I like completing projects because it shows me that, um, okay, I can do something and finish it. A friend of mine approached me and she was like, okay, I have this idea. Let's, let's just do this together. Let's start a business because there is a market. So how it got here is I made a, a top. It was still during lockdown. I created something and I posted it on social media. And a lot of my like friends and people who are on my WhatsApp were like, oh my God, do you do this? Can I pay you? Um, can you please do this for me? Why don't you start a business? Uh, but I wasn't confident enough to like start a business on my own. And then a friend of mine, my business partner now, um, always wanted to start the business for crocheting, but she never really picked it up. So I asked her if um, we can start the business together. Then she agreed that's, that's where everything started. Sometimes I have to set aside time to be like, okay, I'm dedicating this to crocheting. So normally when I'm studying and working, I normally take a two hour break. So I fitted in there. The thing is I procrastinate a lot. So what crocheting has afforded me is that I have become a productive procrastinator. Uh, instead of just sitting and worrying about school, um, I turn things into magic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had to sample it out and this is how it came. These are the colors I used and yeah. 10,000 stitches later, this is the blankets. You take something from nothing and you turn it into something it wasn't, you know. It allows for, you can use your imagination, you can get as creative as you want. And 
you can always unravel your mistakes that's what i love about it like nothing is set in stone <laughs> it could literally be anything and you can also take it back <laughs>